Let's do this breakdown thing. Let's show the people how to eat money. Let's show them how to make money. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this breakdown thing. I'm trying to block this light with my head so y'all can see properly. You guys are good. Let's get a few numbers to come in. Let's do this Nasdaq breakdown. Current movement. Let's see how do we actually eat. <laughs> Let's see how to actually eat this shit. Um, as it's moving as tricky as it is. Let's kill it. Let's kill it. Shit, do I have trades running? Because now I'm seeing this. Yeah. So yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get let's get the numbers coming. Let's go to 200. 200 viewers. We started with our Nasdaq breakdown. Let's go. Damn. It's crazy. It's been a long time since I've actually done classes. I have not done classes the whole year. Not taught shit the whole year. I've taught nobody the whole year. I've not done that. Got this tour coming up, five city tour, leadership tour, starts next week. Um, just a bit of something, cause initially I just felt like let's do a bit of something. Um, for the people before the year ends. Two hundred people. Oh, two twenty one. Okay, let's go. Um, let's get this. Let me get my charts up and ready. I don't know, you guys. I think I'm gonna put. I'm gonna be forced to put the phone landscape. Um, so I don't know. I'll see how you guys actually will. Um, yeah, you can trade with 200 rand or trade two for five. Definitely go into my channel on Telegram, the free Telegram channel. You get the link to open your trading account. Yeah, let's see. Because NAS is killing people. NAS, it's moving. Hey, it's moving somehow. So people are like, yo, Ash, how do we do it? This thing is, you know, it's getting a bit too tricky for us. You know, it's come, the pandemic is ruined to the market. Elections. Apple failed to launch successfully, you know, so what's the secret? But remember everything. At the end of the day, everything is still technical. The industry, the world is technical, you know. What goes up must come down. What comes down must go up. So um so financial freedom is it goes for free, free of charge, empowerment. Oh we're doing three hundred people now, okay, let's go. Um uh, let's see. Let's see. I will I'm just get into my chart right now. And I start with a big time frame. Just logging into my trading view. So I need to learn. I, I need to be able to balance my phone so it doesn't fall and then show funny things. <laughs> Yo, okay, let's go. Um, let me turn the camera. You guys are ready. If you guys can see that, you all can see that. You can see that. You can see that. I'm just remove this. Actually, just leave it at normal. How do I get that normal shit here? Okay, I'm gonna remove this filter. Um. Okay. I don't know how I do that nonsense. Okay. Here. Right here. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see my chart. Let me remove the comments, actually. Switch off comments. Comments off. Turn off comments. Y'all can see that? Shit. Okay, cool. Obviously, I'm going to try and make it as... Let's move my screen card white like that. I think you guys can definitely see. Uh, let's see if we got any questions. No questions. Okay, cool. This is my, basically my uh, forward time frame on NASDAQ. You can see NASDAQ has been moving pretty good from this section here. Or well, from the zone here, from this lower zone, I can actually see from the, on the forward time frame. So from here, we had a nice comfortable push to the upside, to the upside obviously. Uh, remember how to trade NASDAQ is quite simple. Don't get too confused with this thing. All you gotta do is just literally just go zoom into it. And see obviously what's going on but i'm gonna show you guys the market has been moving quite comfortably from this low ever since i think two or three weeks back we had a dramatic sort of a dramatic drop that actually came the market tried recovering but once i zoom in there for you you realize that it's been failing to actually gain back 
the upside momentum so for all my traders biggest question is where to now how do we know where to now are we can we be that confident in our with ourselves can we be confident enough with our buy so i'm gonna tell you just now so here's the high the highest point i see from current point would be this one and the lowest point i see from current point would be that section there so initially all my sellers you know if you're in the telegram channel and you've taken all my sales realize all the sales that i've given from this area here if you've been adding sales and not closing any of your sales you definitely are making bargains of money this day is one of obviously one of my students that funded just three thousand rand about four weeks back and he's pushed close if not over a million i'm not too sure but five five to six weeks and he's not been withdrawing just growing and growing whenever every single i give so what you need to avoid is that avoid withdrawing small money withdrawing to two thousand three thousand four thousand make your money build your account make your account stronger so initially here we come so current price on nasdaq is that obviously the market is currently still dropping technically i'm gonna highlight all my highs technically here we go picking up the highest point at that zone there obviously i don't know if you guys can see it being at my highest point at that zone there technically i'd say okay at this point the market drops as soon as the market as when i saw the market passed obviously that section there let me just zoom in a bit so you guys can see it when when i saw just move that when i saw this market obviously turned from here and break this low here i realized okay the market is definitely going to give us a drop for quite a long time so i started placing my next sell zone around that section there and i waited for it to come back and i looked at obviously on a different time frame if i go to two hour time frame let's do this two hour time frame you can definitely tell that before it actually went down two hour time frame before it actually went down it definitely gave us a sort of a a double bottom resistance and came back and broke it so i waited for my market obviously to break that section for me to give my very first sell trades now when the market had recovered with the small candles there as you can see right there those are small time frame is definitely a push to the upside it's more like your 15 minutes and the 15 minutes it definitely pushed up i caught myself right there and it drops and if you look going down all you do is that you don't confuse yourself there's a high point highlight the high point just like that and then highlight the next low area from there so after this section after this after i had sold around this area here what would be my next sell area definitely on the next low so the next low becomes a high this next current low will become the next high point see the market is definitely selling in that area obviously you cannot expect the market to come in turn directly so you need to obviously be able to highlight zones so let me show you guys how to actually highlight a zone so to know that okay if the market gets into this area here i will be able to know where that to take my sell or buy so at this point the market drops heavy on us took that sell it comes if it goes all the way down when it pulls back we wanted to come back into this zone right there that is this is a zone so seeing the market that obviously it needs to come back into that zone for us actually to add more cells it does do that it goes back into that zone we add our first cell second cell fourth third fourth yeah third and fourth so we had about four or five entry points heavy cells we could actually be definitely trust on there and the market dropped as usual you know going down all you need to do is make sure that you actually keep highlighting your highs and lows so you never miss an entry point there's another low there. this is two hour time frame keep in mind another low this year that low the market came broke that low and came back to sit on that low pushing a bit high giving you a nice sell area there push down came back again touched there again so with current price you realize that market obviously goes and touches the same entry point quite a few times before you could actually take direction so you do have the opportunity to actually kind of dominate the trade before you can actually before it does move in in the direction it's actually intended to go so our sales have been quite strong in the past two weeks the market drops the heavy shoots down as it shoots down look at that it's quite simple don't ever actually worry yourself once it shoots down from here it shoots down it drops till here you deep in profit market comes back where does it go back to no panic goes back to previous low section all the time the market will always go back to previous low section goes back to previous low section giving us a sell sensitivity right there highlighting that zone will allow us to actually know where the market will actually be going to turn at so i'm going to highlight that zone from run about this section here look at that highlighting that zone will allow us to actually be able to know that okay this market is definitely coming there's a there, there's a low become high sell area you go in there hard one more time you've been selling look at the deep profit you're in we're on, on, a, on about seventh or eighth entry eight entry point to the downside the market drops from there shoots down shoots down heavy goes down to the downside and then it pulls back. back 
Nobody cares. Technical will always be, be technical. The market will never just shoot up and never come back down. Or never just shoot down and never come back up. That is a guarantee. Put my life on that one. The market goes down here. Drastic push to the downside. And it comes back and say, people think, no, they'll never come back. It pushes back, comes back and gives us, obviously, what? Our sell again. Previous high, and just do that, get that line. Here, our previous low becomes a new high. What is that high? Same zone that we have. Definitely a selling sensitivity, sensitivity right there. We've got to get our selling horns ready so we can actually be able to dominate. I'm going to put, obviously, a zone there so to know that you mustn't just wait for it to get to a certain price, but a certain bracket to know that the market will definitely turn. Look at that. Hits that, comes back down. Gives us a low there. There's another low there. Shoots down nicely, comes back up, gives us a high. Where is that high turning? It goes back into the zone. When I speak about zones, the market always turns a different phase of the zone. See, at this point, it looked like it was going beyond that, but that is because it is just a zone. Goes back into that. It drops drastically. Look at that. Amazing. It drops there. Drops, pushes, pushes down. Comes back up again. Comes back down. Deep in ourselves. Goes back up to give us ourselves. Sell sensitivity. There's a low. Becomes a dropping section. And it drops quite heavy. Look at that. Bah! Goes down. So look at how beautiful this drop became. So from dropping here. So I finally reached current price. So the biggest question is that now with current price, what is, the, what is next for NASDAQ? Because now we've been selling and we're currently sitting on our last sell. We took our last sell right here. I, I released the last sell yesterday right here. And a bit obviously a lot late yesterday came and then we had to close around the section. Why did we why did I say close? Why what I said was prefer to close around the section because the market has failed to go lower than this. Right? I wanna see this market. If we were to if, if we are to continue obviously if 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 we are to continue selling, I wanna see this market go lower than what price is this? I wanna see this market go lower than eleven zero one two. I want to see the market go lower than that and I'm confident about our drop as you can see currently the market is going back to give us a double top see that a double top on on a two hour time frame one hour time frame definitely I just took out a buy signal in our free uh, online trading camp channel so uh, I will give this uh, the link I'll post the link after this live video definitely I gave it a buy this is a short buy why is why am I saying it's a short buy so because as I look deeper into it I'm going to change time frames I'll go to one hour time frame One hour, just give it a second. There we go. One hour time frame. Why am I saying that the buy is still short initially? Because I'm waiting for it to actually go over this. Having us a double bottom right there. Double bottom means acquire the use of resistance for the market to change direction until actually market does break that. So I want to see this market. I want to see it push push over here for to be confident say that okay we're taking a bit of a long term buy i want to see this market push over the, the slow the slow here has to push there's a current high at the moment it has to push over that and push push and come back and sit on it so we want to see the market doing that then we'll be confident with our buys if not we are going to close our buys very soon once we're in comfortable profit because it could still drop should we fail to actually break that high then should we fail to break that uh, that that low that becomes a new that's becoming a new high now. But as I speak, you can see our buy is quite positive. We just give us that buy signal, and we are pushing over that. We are pushing over it, and I'm pretty confident. And why did I give out the buy? Is it psychic? Is it magician things? It's not magician. Does it not need? You don't need to be a miracle master. I'm moving to 15 minute time frame. I want to show you guys how comfortable it looks, how clear it looks. A so 15 minute time frame obviously shows us a bit better. Look at that. This is definitely after it hit the double bottom at, the, at that low. It's been climbing up. So why was I conf so confident about this buy just now? It's initially because this low it was sitting on it. When the market changed direction, instead of going up, I just put my, obviously, horizontal line there. It gave me a high and a high became a new low. The market came and sat there and I take out a buy. Initially, it's nothing magical. It's not magician things. It's normal. After after a high comes low, on the low, we, we take our buy. So we're shooting up as we speak right now. I'm seeing the market. I want to see it. Breaking this section here, breaking and it will probably turn around about this zone right here. I want to see it turning around about this area. So it will push technically till that point and then come back and then come back and sit here and we'll go up. If it does fail to break this area right now, we'll definitely see the market going for a drop one more time. So let's wait for it to give us quite a good uh, long term indication. But as we speak at the moment, we're on a short buy and it's quite a good trade.
definitely a good trade definitely a good trade uh it's definitely a hard one so we want to see let me just show you guys what we want to see so we want to see something like this i'm gonna put a curve line so we at the moment should this market break here we want to be going to see something like this market should push from there to here we want to see something like this something like this right there pushing all the way up should it fail to actually should it fail to actually break where it's at right now then we're going to see it giving us obviously a double top like that and then it should turn technically and then come back all the way down here so giving us our triple top and then it will indicate whether it's going to break or not so we should see it then it will be something like that Let me just move this then it should be something like that should it fail to actually break right now it will definitely turn out that should it break we're definitely phasing up so i'll put both curve lines so we expect obviously so we know both moves at this moment this moment we call this is technical breakdown mastery technical mastery right here we broke down we're breaking down both directions so if the market both go in, down we eat goes up we eat learn how to actually eat the market in both ways stop wanting the, the market to go where you see it one where you want it to go there we go. This is our slide. This is my slide breakdown of Nasdaq. Hope you guys understand it. Hope you guys love it. It's not complicated. Remember that currently. Trade 245. The link is in the channel. I will post the link. It's, I think the link is somewhere. Or check out on all my stories. On every story of mine, just swipe up. You'll find the link. Sign up with the best broker we have. Um at the moment in best in africa they've actually just launched their own app so we don't have a broker that has an its own app in south africa at the moment you know um they've made the boat they, they, they just launched a mobile app you can get that on your iphone um and then they have them i'll try Go into my email and show you guys the notifications. I get my withdrawals every fucking day, every 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 single day. Just then I'm not one. I'm not. Too, I'm too much of a big boy to be doing flex things on Instagram. So I don't do that. I don't. Do, we post that. So um, yeah, this is my Nasdaq breakdown. If you guys are loving it, if you guys are enjoying it, if you guys understand it. If you have any questions, um, I'm gonna turn back the comments. I'm gonna turn the comments back on just now. The comments are coming back on just now, y'all. So. Um, I'm gonna turn the comments back on just now, and then you guys can ask me a few questions before I actually obviously do bounce. Um, just comments, comments on. So yeah, that is my breakdown. As I'm, I'm looking at the graph now, we've bro it seems we are breaking that zone. We're pushing higher and higher. We're going. Let's wait for. Our, one hour candlestick to close at five o'clock let's see where our one hour candle will definitely close at uh but we're definitely going to be pushing we're pushing we're pushing gave it a profitable buy um yeah hope you guys understand if you guys are watching that hope you guys are watching that let me see any questions any questions are you guys happy with the breakdown are you guys happy any questions before i bounce any questions i hope you guys are loving it man this is free the upside target lows on low time frame so if you push it the market is giving you an uptrend target catch on the lows previous how previous how will be a new low on one minute five minutes 15 minutes catch that sp the same analysis i gave you the same way i just broke down nas to you break down sp 500 you break down us 30 you break down usk 100 you break down even your pairs but obviously it's better on indices because they move in one direction you break down anything technical can be broken okay Please explain about about entering multiple times on one pay. Do I check my margin? Yeah, so you can enter entering multiple times is quite it's, it's quite simple. All you have to do is just be careful with your margin. Remember your margin is your risk barrier, so you need to know how much you're risking. So what is it okay? What is that you need to know in order to be able to break to break it the way you do? Just understand your technical movements, your highs and lows. You know, break break down your highs and lows, your technicals, your price actions from daily time frame for hour. You know, um, two hours, one hour, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, five minutes, so one minute, all the way. You know, uh, are you guys happy? Which broker is the best? Trade 245. Trade 245. Are we hitting new highs? Uh, we, we only started pushing up today. We only started pushing up confidently today. So let's see how the market will give it. We'll be reacting to the next two days. 
Why, why did you pick the specific zones for Nasdaq to turn for the buys? I didn't, I didn't pick the zones. The, the market gives you zones. You just highlight the zones. We don't create zones. So I'm saying, anybody, there's no, there, there's no master here. There's no. We just work with what we have. So people um, might call themselves whatsoever, you know, the 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 ground workers of of the charts and whatever. No, we do. We all work with what we have. There's nobody. Um, okay, the current best broker in Africa at the moment, trade two four five. Thank you. Uh, we'll, um, check out the links. Go to my stories. Swipe up. You see, that's the link. Trade two four five best broker. Definitely. Love that. So we're going to buy it. Opens above the zone at five p.m. I'm waiting to see what's going to happen and how we're closing in the next one hour candle. Yes, we're happy, bro. Keep doing more that we actually appreciate. God bless, man. Uh, please save the life. I definitely will. Go check on my posts. Um, I did do a recording this morning explaining what's going to happen with NASDAQ. So uh, I decided to do this so you guys can understand me a bit better. So, yeah. Do I teach how to trade? I don't do classes. Yes, I do. specific reason i need to understand your vision i don't just run and come and teach you i don't do this for money um i live strictly off the chart i don't do classes i don't do any of that um done with that i haven't done classes the whole year so everything is strictly off the chart rely strictly off the strictly off the chart live strictly off the chart everything is chart there's more money in the market than there is with people so that's what people oh anybody who can't trade relies on people we don't do that here this is leadership baby it's leadership, it's leadership, it's leadership. You gotta, you gotta, and it's comfort. Like, once you master graph, there's nothing, no, nothing. Master the chart, that's all. At what time frame do you enter trades? I confirm my entry point on all time frames. So, I confirm it on 15 minutes, 5 minutes, 30 minutes, even 1 minute. So, I confirm entry point on all time frames before I can take a trade. Uh, when is the trading camp ending? Um, I've been ha- I've been getting texts about trading camp. I th- think we might be extending it. I will give an update. I'll update everyone in the trading camp. We will extend the trading camp for another month because uh, people were saying that, no, the Nasdaq is not being moving quite good and things like that. We want the Nasdaq that we know that goes up. So please give us, give it, keep giving us trades till it actually starts moving proper so we can kill. I do understand, obviously. Um, so I will definitely think about that and see how it goes. I always had a problem with my entries, even though mine is okay. My entries are bad. How do I spot perfect entry? I just, I'm going to save this video. Price is actually breaking that, that high we saw there. Our buys definitely didn't do profits. Uh, I just saw that. I'm going to save this video so you can watch it over again and go watch another one that I posted about an hour ago so you can understand. What, what are we saying about Nasdaq? Bro, we just walked in. We just broke down Nasdaq. Um... Who taught, you, who taught you how to trade? Who taught me how to master the graph? I personally mastered the graph along with my brothers, my peers, and my homies that I actually live with in my house over the past three years because we would sit on the chart day and night and actually, you know, um, learn how to actually break down the chart and learn more about it. But who introduced me into Forex was Jason Noah. So Jason Noah introduced me into Forex, I remember, uh, fuck, years back. But yeah, he introduced me. So basically, he told me what Forex is. He told me how it works and what's because that's when I didn't know what it was. So he introduced me to and I went went home and did my work and then started applying all my work and then um, started reading books, you know, going deeper and understanding the fundamentals of technical movement, you know, all of that and what to follow and things like that. And here I am today. Um, how does the margin? How does the margin? Please, uh, please, I'm down, I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. okay. Can we register again on NAS? Yes, you can. When will you come? When when will your tour come to Mafia King? After the tour that's currently happening, if it's successful, we'll definitely come out to Mafia King. I love how you feel the Lord, bro. The Lord is power. You know, look at the candles. It's better. We definitely... Let me turn the camera and show you all, guys. We just broke that high, B. We just broke it. We just broke it. So we're pushing. See? So we broke it. See, we're pushing. We should come back and sit around the zone. Keep going up. We just broke that. If y'all are watching this, we just broke that high. Buys and deep profits. We just broke that. We just broke that. So, yeah. Uh, which time from you? Okay. Boss, one on one class. Send a DM uh, with your reasons of why you want to do one on class with me specifically. Then I uh, will speak. Are you going to give an entry if it goes further up? Definitely. Going to give an entry. What's happening with Nasdaq Fandah? I just gave an update on that. Chief, you are a bit late. That's the reasons of not being in my telegram. Um, free trading camp channel that is free there. 
um but you done helping people with scams yes we have i have tried obviously helping people that was scams i can't do everything i'm not donald trump i'm not bill gates um but i tried we tried to help my management try and doing what they could and then yeah we did what we could too to a certain point king ash looking at us now should we enter just give her a buy just give her a, let's wait for a second low and demolish it let's see where michael will take us from there do you do you do account management uh account management as in what account copy trading or linking accounts um i i did call in or call in a trade two for five requesting that they create a copy trading platform for me because i want to hook all my traders under that under that they didn't get back to me so hopefully once they get back to me i'll be able to know that whether i do account management or not that would be right good we're a very good way to help people push their capital uh again thanks for 500 rands please come to Durban. need you to see your live class for class definitely send a dm so uh, buys and deep profits thanks leadership bless give it a buy definitely we're eating buys and deep profits buys and we are pushing we are pushing concrete well done to those that actually took the buy um took the buy took the buy um it's jason it's jason a good man who's chasing it i think about jason no if you think about jason no yeah he's definitely a good mentor he's been mentoring a lot of people i think he's taught he's taught the highest number of people we have in South Africa. I don't think there's anybody who has actually had, who has empowered individuals more than he has. So he's definitely a good mentor because people wouldn't keep going back to him. So he's definitely a good mentor. Um, yeah, he's, he's, he's actually got a trading flow going on right now. So you guys should go check his page out and trade the trading flow, you know, make find, make yourself some money. At the same time, Isaac has also got some free classes that he's hosting. My brother Isaac has hosting, he's got free classes. That he's doing so y'all should go on his page and subscribe try and try suck things to try learn as much as you can man this is definitely uh so yeah when you move to cape town i'm not too sure yet but i'll be definitely buying a house in cape town very soon i mean the current i mean i mean the current trade been following your work for a long time i'm, I'm working up to a million i'm working to a million now god bless you man god bless you god bless you how much do you start trading with as little as a thousand rand Uh, do I consider candlestick patterns when entering a trade? No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't actually consider that. Look at it. Look at our price. Look at our buy. Look at our buy. If you're in my channel, if you're in the Telegram free channel, we took a buy right here, confidently right now in deep profit. Move stop loss to profit. Move stop loss to profit, and let's wait for more entry point. That's just how we kill it. Leadership way. That's just how we kill it. And it's an everyday thing, yo. It's nothing new. You know, it's just that, you know, we've been doing this for so long. It's not even something to flex about. It's not even something we could even be like, yo, do you cover my end? I've been doing end. I've been, we've been killing the end points for the longest time. We did this way, it was way, way before it was fashionable. Way before. So, you know, you can, you can it's like, it's like a norm, you know. So, um, also I've been teaching classes for me sometimes. I don't do that full time because I feel like it's time, um, it's exhausting and, I, I can only do it on weekends because I don't want to do it during the week initially because uh, my market time gets exploited. So if you want to get taught, definitely we can do it, but only on the weekends. Um, but I need to know. I need to know. Um, so it's worth my time. I need to know. So it's worth my time. Uh, on the on on seven k with the buy, nice easy seven k with your buy. Move your stop loss to profit. Let's go, profits running. Thank you so much, leadership. Nice, well done to you guys. Um, well done, leadership. We're holding so uh, definitely. So we gave her that buy. So we gave her that buy. Nice like a buy. Nice like a buy. What's your pro? What's your end? Uh, took a nice buy, like a buy, give her a buy, like a buy. Okay, guys. Uh, God.